mm-hmm. banks have also realized that I think you need to create a balance. I think as a client is not going to reward you for having the most advanced software because in this kind of tough environment, actually, maybe the risk reward is not attractive. So what banks have done is they become smarter. Uh, they are allocating more spending on actually areas which are critical and which can still differentiate. User experience is a good example where I think a bank can still differentiate. But whether you, you're using a um, the most advanced data center, the most advanced equipment, or a commoditized server, I think it, it won't make a lot of difference. So we have seen, uh, for example, banks trying to partner on these kind of non-core areas because as long as they see some cost efficiencies, I think they don't mind. Let's focus our efforts on these so-called differentiating services, which ultimately user experience um, and which are more client-centric. So there are two ways any technology can help any bank. One is whether it can really maximize revenues or whether it can actually reduce the costs or whether it is really efficient. It is still early days for blockchain. Uh, the way I understand is that um, on the revenue maximization, what blockchain can do is that it can help you offer new services which you were not able to offer in the past. Could be on payments, could be on um, uh, on, on other areas uh, which are over the counter because ultimately blockchain, what it does is it's a distributed ledger, right? So where you don't have to go through a centralized ledger, I think maybe it allows you to offer new services or product categories. On the cost side, I think, which is where I think the upside is what blockchain does is, for example, after trade settlement, I think it's a clear case that blockchain will reduce your costs. Um, Similarly, um, I think it also provides better access to reference data. Um, Then at the same time, maybe it also makes uh, things more efficiently as you don't have to pass through the centralized ledger. Now, from a client point of view, as I said, it allows the banks to offer new services. So a client who was not able to access one particular product in the past, I think maybe uh, they can access those products. And alternatively, if your provider is able to reduce cost, uh, ultimately you'll also benefit because maybe your cost of transaction will come down. I think where I see in 2017 is uh, basically emergence of some standards um, at the same time, involvement or partnership with regulators. I should not say involvement because regulators are now being more proactive. So so I think um, increased involvement from the regulator side, um, uh, increased standardization, and select um, uh, usage, um, at least, uh, for example, in stock exchanges, we could see application of blockchain um, in, in, in a few countries. Um, and maybe some banks will try to Uh, provide some alternative payment products and categories.